In this section, we'll learn about surveys, experiments, and observation study, which is also a part of data analysis and statistics. So like we know, an experiment imposes a treatment, while an observation study observe individuals and measure variables without controlling the individuals. So moving on to here's the example one. And in this example, what are we trying to do? Well, here we are trying to identify whether a quotient is experiment or it's an observational study. So let's move on to our question number one. The question number one says a researcher asks students the average number of hours of sleep they get per night and examines whether the amount of sleep affects students' grade. So what do you guys think? Is it an experiment that he does or an observation study? Well, it turns out the answer to that is the researcher gathered data without controlling the individual or applying a treatment. This situation is an example of an observation study. Moving on to the next question. In this question, uh, you guys want a tip because it really helps you guys a lot. Okay, so the question would be that if a question that comes up saying a scientist measures the height of 20 bird nests and counts the number of eggs to see if there is a uh, relationship, is this experiment or an observation study? Now most of the people might consider this example as an experiment or and some might consider observation study. So let's go ahead and look at the answer. The answer would be it's an observation study. Why? Because remember, experiment is making a treatment. If you were to apply some cream or any stuff, the scientists gather data without any treatment. Thus, it's a situation of an observational study. But if you were, if you were to apply some or do some experiment on birds or nests, it would consider an experimental. But since it doesn't, it's an observational study.